Man United said I've gonna hate to agree personal terms with Mason Mount. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. It's the first of June as you know. June is a month of really getting deals out of the way and United have attacked this deal in the best way they can. Eric Ten Hag is behind it it and the and he wants this player to come through and obviously sign for Manchester United as up that is it so let's see close to 100 not 100 200 likes much in this video and let's go eyes now this story was broken late in the night late in the night and it was broken by James Ducker and but you know Jason but but why we saw a lot of credibility into this story was Telegraph, <coughs> Daka, or James Daka is a United correspondent for the Sunday and Daily Telegraph. And we just got to know that he was going to hate to hit the nail on its top. And this is what he really put up <coughs> via the website of the Daily Telegraph. That Man United have agreed personal terms with Mason Mount and are now expected to sign the Chelsea midfielder. That's what he put up at first. And then he added on that Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has been confident he can secure Mason Mount and talks have progressed positively in recent days since the two clubs played each other last Thursday. Mount has one year left on his contract at Chelsea and appears determined to leave. Now, can I say kudos? <laughs> kudos to Manchester United because <clears throat> these are things that we've taken long without seeing at Manchester United, especially when we go into the summer. If I can take you back to the summers we've been going in through, we've always been we've always been making these signings late. Ten Hag is learning from his mistakes. When he came in here last summer, he told the board, don't sign any player before you get me Frankie De Jong. That was the assignment he told the board. Now, we missed out on the likes of Dewey Nunes. We couldn't negotiate on the deals of Anthony, Lisandro Martinez, Malasia, Casimiro, and very many others. Because Ten Hag told the board, I first want to get in a player called... Frankie De Jong and it took us like one and a half months to reach an agreement with Barcelona on Frankie De Jong though the deal never came to happen but it took us close to one and a half months and on the day we went ahead to agree a fee a fee and the payment structure with Barcelona that's when United went in and really signed Malaysia now Ten Hag doesn't want to go on and really spend a lot of time on his marquee signing we all understand that Ten Hag's number one target is a world-class center forward. But after realizing that Tottenham Hotspur are really going to play a long ball, a hard ball for Man United to sign Harry Kane, yet Ten Hag wants Harry Kane, he said, let's go in and get in the players that we can get in as soon as possible. And the viable player has been Mason Mount. One year left on his contract. He wants to leave Chelsea. Pochettino is trying to convince him to stay. The player has told him no. And guess what? United have gone ahead to agree personal terms with Mason Mount. For all of those that don't know what personal terms are all about, they include close to three or four clauses that are really main. First and foremost is the salary that Mason Mount is going to be earning at Manchester United. That means it has been agreed. He now knows the amount of money he is supposed to be earning at Man United. He has been earning £80,000 per week at Chelsea. <coughs> Chelsea tabled a new deal on the table of Mason Mount and Mason Mount said no. Towards the World Cup, he was positive, but after the World Cup, he came up and made up his mind and said, I'm not putting pen to paper onto this contract of Chelsea. Then, the other is the duration of the contract. United and Mason Greenwood, sorry, and Mason Mount have gotten to know how long they are going to see Mount stay at Manchester United. I believe it's going to be fucking 
six years or five years four years if it's five years it's going to be four years with an option where if it's six years it's going to be five years with an optional year that is mason mount for you so the other one is the agent fees you know an agent can fail a deal because if you don't pay him as is expected to earn from a deal or a transfer of one player to the of, of his player or his client from a club to another then he can really take him to another team that is really wanting to take him like in this like in this clear scenario Arsenal wanted Mason Mount Liverpool wanted Mason Mount now you have to see to it that you meet the criteria of the club of the agent of Mason Mount to see to it that you give him the amount of money that he desires to see to it that he gets the player to your side fourthly all furthermore you have to find yourself in a position of agreeing onto the image rights you know these players have their image rights sold to certain companies so you have to agree with these players so those are the four more those are for those are four those are the four main important clauses that are agreed in the personal terms that's it so if personal terms have been agreed with mason mount all those have been cleared out of the way and now there is one thing left and what is it left united has to go ahead and really talk to chelsea to see to it that this deal is gotten out of the way now after after james darker the correspondent of united for the daily telegraph came out and confirmed to us that personal terms have been agreed then even alex crook of talk sport he supports Manchester United. He also has clear so that Manchester United went ahead and told us that as per Telegraph, I understand Mason Mount has an agreement in place with Manchester United down to them to sort out the fee with Chelsea now. Pochettino wants Mount to stay, but damage has been done during the previous negotiations. Meaning that there is damage at Chelsea that has been done that cannot afford to see Mason Mount kept at the club of Chelsea. <laughs> that is something that has gone ahead to act in the favor of Man United. It's also happened to Manchester United on some players when you wanted them to stay and they said, no, I'm not staying at Manchester United. I really want to go. When Ten Hag came in here, he wanted to keep he wanted to keep Nemanja Matic, but Matic said, no, I'm leaving this club. I've already said my bye-byes and I've already gone ahead to agree personal terms with AS Roma, a team that was beaten last night on penalties by Sevilla to win the UEFA Europa League. So it shows you that if you had went past Sevilla, maybe it was a chance. And Sevilla is a seventh time winner of this trophy. So that is something else I really wanted to go and inject in. The UEFA Europa League finale was played yesterday night. And, and um, Sevilla beat as Roma on penalties so that is Alex Crook and let's see who else came in through and obviously did the needful and put in what he had to put in there is Jacob <coughs> there is Jacob Steinberg another credible journalist coming out and confirming to us that Man United players are expecting Mason Mount to join them this summer. There is an agreement on personal terms, but no fee agreed with Chelsea yet. The expectation is that Mount moves to Old Trafford. So, when it's in the players, just know it's done. You know Mason Mount is an English international, and we're having some good English internationals at Manchester United. We are having Harry Maguire, we are having Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford, meaning that he has gone ahead to talk to them that I'm coming that side personal terms have been agreed prepare me a very good landing a very good landing ground that is fertile at old trafford and everything and everything will be put to the levels we expect it to be but the most interesting bit of it is this that jacob steinberg came out and really added onto that story if i told you never knew who jacob steinberg is jacob steinberg Sorry about that. There was something I was checking in at my sink. But if I told you don't know who Jacob Steinberg is, 
Jacob Steinberg is a football reporter for The Guardian and uh, he's a football reporter for The Guardian and he's really one of the greatest that we've seen. He has gone and say gone ahead and said Liverpool are the favorites to sign Mason Mount not so long ago and obviously we know that Liverpool came in to do the job as soon as possible but as it stands it looks like Steinberg has confirmed us that he's coming to Manchester United and United have gone ahead to win this and lastly Samuel Lucas a correspondent of United for the Manchester Evening News another fly on the wall that is being fed in by the club of Manchester United has come out and really told us the following that Mason Mount has agreed personal terms with Manchester United. It is understood Mason Mount's representatives, his father Tony and agent Neil Fewings have held advanced discussions with United but there is no agreement between the clubs on a fee yet. Now, that's confirmed. It's confirmed. I understand people will say, I'm waiting for David Austin. I'm waiting for Fabrizio Romano, but all of these that we've shown you are really tier one journalists when it comes to transfers. So it's a confirmation that Man United have gone ahead to agree personal terms with Mason Mount. That's done and dusted. It's really one of those things that's gonna hate to get done and dusted. And what is left is United to go on and really agree a fee between them and Chelsea. United want to offer, I think, 55 million pounds. Chelsea want 85 million pounds. And I think that's really insane of Chelsea to call for 80 million pounds for a player who is left with just one contract, with one year on his contract. If at all they try to fail the deal, he'll tell them, I'm not going to sign the new deal and I'm leaving on a free next season. So, the strength and the power is in Mason Mount. Now, I would like to go on and really give kudos to Manchester United, especially the new. the new United negotiator, you know, that we signed from Adidas, you know. He came in through, remember last summer, we never had a negotiator and we hired, he's called Matt Hargreaves, you know. He replaced Matt Judge and he's the, he's the director of football negotiations at Manchester United, you know. He was formerly working for Adidas, that is the man and he is really so much experienced and getting this deal out of the way he deserves the kudos because Matt Hargreaves comes in through to do the job. In the summer we never had a negotiator and we hired Tom Keane. You know after hiring Tom Keane he left the club after the general transfer window and obviously we had to hire a director of football negotiations at Manchester United but what he has gone ahead to achieve, getting personal terms out of the way, it's just 60% work done. But the 40% is all about him to negotiate a very proper fee between Manchester United and Chelsea. I'm going to give him another set of kudos if at all he finds himself in a position of really getting Mason Mount to Manchester United at like 50 million pounds or 45 million pounds. Previously, we've always been ransomed, you know that. We've always been ransomed by clubs, you know. A player like Anthony, 85 million pounds. That shows you that we are not good at negotiating. And we are bad, we are ill at negotiating deals. That has been confirmed to us by the agents of other players, you know, that we've gone ahead to try to sign. We are described as arrogant, you know especially ever since Alex Ferguson and David Gill left and Ed Woodward took over and Matt Judge, they found themselves in a position of being arrogant, you know, of negotiating these deals. And Patrice Evra told us one time that there is an agent who raised, who raised a call to him late in the night that I'm calling the negotiator of Manchester United and he's not picking up, you know. I have something to negotiate with him because there is a club that has gone ahead to really intercept into this deal of this player coming to Manchester United. And imagine, you know? So, that is good news. I would like to go ahead and really give kudos to Eric Ten Hag that he has learned from his past mistakes of really telling the club that you first get me my Mac signing that led to him going to the 
preseason with only one sign that is Tarell Malasia. So he doesn't want to do that. He wants to he wants the club to sign everyone available and see us out of the way. So let's wait and see how that's going to pan on. But as I sign out, there there is a huge question that you have to ask yourself. Why are we signing players? Why are we giving players new deals? Yet the ownership has not yet been sorted, you know, and been announced. To me, it shows me that one, Glazers know what is going to happen here. If they are doing it, they are doing it on behalf of Sheikh Jassim Althani, Althani is going to have to approve this deal. And vice versa to Sir Jim Ratcliffe. If they are doing it on behalf of Sir Jim Ratcliffe, they've gone ahead to find themselves in in a common understanding that go ahead have sanctioned those transfers but the most exciting bit of it is all the new owners of Manchester United the Glazers know who is going to be have gone ahead to certify the work of Eric Ten Hag they want Eric Ten Hag to stay and they want him to be here and they are willing to back him and they want to see to it that they get these deals out of the way and get Ten Hag signings as early as possible. So, thank you very much for watching through telling me your thoughts about United agreeing personal terms with Mason Mount and what Mount do you think United is going to go ahead and really get this deal out of the way. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God bless you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you letters. Ciao, ciao, my subscribers.